who among you have already or maybe already using AI tools? Things like ChatGPT, Microsoft Copilot, okay, Gemini, maybe. Anyone? I personally, I'm using AI tools. This or maybe is using that. In fact, today, before going to this event, uh, besides asking event organizer where to park, I also asked, also, also validated, uh, in AIM, where is the best place to park? So it says to me, the nearest one is Greenbelt, the Gatsby Park, Car Park, and it even has an on-site parking here. So it brings a lot of advantages to us. So what I'm, coming, what I'm going to is, uh, AI brings a lot of uh, improvements in our daily life. I, I've even asked, uh, Microsoft Copilot, where to eat Lomi, the best place to eat Lomi in Batangas, and it's given me a nice place. Yeah? So, so it has been, been, been widely used these days, and it brings a lot of advantages. And similarly, that brings the same advantage to you guys as well. In, in work, you can also generate emails, easily create reports, especially on my cramming moments. You know, when I need to send email to my customer, I need to make a compelling call to action for a next meeting. I ask Microsoft Copilot, and then, yeah, then boom, it happened. The next meeting, okay. So, but uh, when we when we deal more about that, no, I'd like to share more an interesting use case here. Now, direct your uh, attention on the screen. Uh, right now, this guy has posed actually where he has leveraged ChatGPT. So, if you look quickly. This presents a very confusing debug part signs, no? If I will, un will decipher this manually, I will get easily confused. What is the best time to park? And kung mag-park ako rito, will I get big ticketed or caught? Kasi even me, I cannot really understand this. Okay? So what he did, he leverages AI. Instead of manually deciphering it, he took a picture, he asked ChatGPT, it's Wednesday 4 p.m. today, can I park? Tell me in one line. So, ChatGPT responded, Yes, you can. You can park up to one hour starting at 4 p.m. So, diba? So, sobrang dali. So, it really has been useful. Okay? But, on the other side, AI is also being used for malicious purposes. Like, uh, uh, AI-generated spamming services can also now be sold on underground forums. Another more thing, this is an interesting use case as well. There is a fake ID that has been generated. For example, this is a highly convincing fake ID with all the information needed, like the name, biographical information, the address, and even more, more realistic. It looks like being put under uh, on the floor, no? So imagine how AI is powerful in doing this such thing, right? And uh, those malicious purposes has become more pressing because AI now or generative AI are now being leveraged to make or, or, or write more compelling and believable phishing attacks. Okay? So for example, uh, in a report made by Sabio, uh, cybersecurity experts are now being Ma concern more primarily in areas like increase in undetectable phishing attacks because AI is now being used to make even phishing emails. Okay, and more pressing is they were uh, they would be they wouldn't be able to catch those unknown attacks using the existing tools they are using. Okay, and it's already alarming, by the way, that 30% of the cyber attack these days are AI driven. So let's take a look. How does it happen in the background? For example, uh, I'm the bad actor. Okay, I want to write a convin convincing email to change the victim bank's detail to, to mine and get that money wired to my own account. So what do I do? I ask ChatGPT. ChatGPT, write me a very persuasive, persuasive email to my HR colleague named Melissa okay, uh, to change the change in salary crediting bank account. So basically, I want to credit that to my account, okay? Uh, 
make the request urgent and personal the, because the pay is, is near, okay? And to make it more less suspicious and more legitimate, let's add on a personal task that maybe through some social engineering I did before, I'll uh, write that uh, Melissa, the HR lady, who has been wanting her daughter to be brought to Tokyo Disneyland. Write that in 120 words. So the after result, okay, so chat GPT says, Hey, Melissa, I hope you're doing well. I wanted to reach out because I ran into an issue. Uh, it turns out my bank details have been compromised uh, and payday is just around. Would you mind lending me a hand updating my salary? Of course, towards my, my benefit going to my account. And with personal touch on a brighter note, I couldn't help but thank you. Think that when I saw you, I, when I saw all the excitement around Tokyo Disneyland. So it has a more personal touch. So imagine how easily you can generate a phishing email using these AI tools also. So this usage of AI tools, this has drastically also changed the security landscape. Now before, uh, attacks are driven by skill threat actors, APT group targeted campaigns and the previous approach, the silo approach works, still works. Okay, but uh, in the after effect now, these days, no, uh, anyone with low skills can also cheap, can also launch cheap large-scale attacks such as ransomware. Okay, so meron ngang saying dito, as you notice in the picture, you don't have to be faster than the very, you just have to be faster than the one behind you. But that is not applicable anymore because with the usage of AI, anyone with low skill can large cheap, can, can launch cheap large scale attacks already. Okay. Now let's cover a few things on here. Okay. Uh, I wanted to bring you to perspective in terms of AI usage. No? AI for security and security for AI. So I've also I've already touched on AI used by attackers. Okay, in my example for earlier. Uh, this is also a force multiplier because they can now easily launch attacks, cheap large-scale attacks, okay, develop targeted attacks, and has more uh, success rates. Now we are here also to help you in terms of using AI in terms of defense. Okay, so for defense. Similarly, we wanted to use that as a force multiplier okay, to help you in your daily operation. Okay? So things like, later I will say an example on a day-to-day op -day operation of firewall admin, threat incident or incident hunting, okay? and faster incident response. Uh, this is making more my daily work more convenient. Okay? And another perspective. Kaya ako tinanong kanina, who are among you are already using AI tools? Well, because AI will be here. And, and one way or another, we will adopt it in our daily lives. Not just with our daily lives, but with our working environment. Okay, so another pressing matter is, how do we govern usage of AI in my organization? And then lastly, ultimately, we wanted to, of course, be on the brighter side. We can leverage AI to be better. Okay, uh, before I touch on with this simple demonstration or video, yun nga, well, I hope there is somebody here, maybe from the, the sec security team responsible managing their firewall. But, but this also applies in some, some areas in the sec security operations team. Okay? okay, at the console here, I am actually working on my firewall console. Typically, when I, when I wanted to do incident hunting, Okay, I will also go to some tools available reporting in my firewall. I can, uh, do, I can uh, do investigation, but that's very manual. With an AI companion, I can ask which among in my network uh, hosts or which among in the network who are the hosts who have been uh, engaged in a zero phishing incident. Okay, so it tells me, okay, so... It tells me also what are the IP address of those. Now, moreover, besides just uh, identifying those hosts, siyempre, kailangan ko rin i no? So, 
Uh, I can also ask, can you block these two IP addresses to further or to to prevent it for further damaging my environment or my my organization? So I ask, can you block these two IP address? Yes, you can. So to proceed, it says you can uh, block this. Uh, would you like to carry it now? Execute this API. I say yes. Then processing. Then yes. You can now simplify and automate your response no? uh, using this uh, AI companion. So this is one of very practical or very good practical use case of AI in terms of security operations. And there are a lot more I'd like to share, but with the interest of time, okay, let's, all, let's move on to the next aspect. No? Again, I've asked you who, are been, who have been using AI tools. Okay? I said uh, generative AIs can bring more advantages, a lot of them more, uh, more productivity to me. Okay? It can accelerate my business. Okay? It helps me to perform my job a lot more easier. But this could also put my company data at risk. Okay? Uh, why? There are a lot of AI tools out there. Gemini, Microsoft Copilot, ChatGPT, and that all are trusted. Okay? And since users has the capability or the freedom to input any questions that he might think, okay, uh, prompts may contain sensitive data. I can inadvertently expose my uh, company uh, assets on these AI tools. And I need to also to uh, have more visibility and control. So with these two sides of productivity and risk, uh, cybersecurity leaders are also getting confused. Some are even uh, were clueless. All of the employees or majority of the employees are already AI tools without their prior knowledge. Okay? Some say, I will block it right now. But my boss subsequently says, no, enable it because that will benefit us. That will make our job a lot more easier. But I'm not sure how. Okay? And lastly, if I'm using AI tools, make sure that my that our company data are secure and are and we are following uh, security regulations. So, in a nutshell, to enable AI safely, we envision that uh, protecting the organization or, or or the safe adoption of AI in my organization should include the following principles. Number one, discover and assess the risk of Gen AI usage. Okay. Number two, also more important, prevent loss of data to Gen AI apps. Okay, may mga papakita ko example scenario on how it could happen to you as well. And also, while I am reaping the benefits of AI, I maintain my uh, visibility and I am meeting regulations in terms of protecting my company data as well. So, in this example, I wanted to know what are the Gen AI, Gen AI apps my organization is using. That may include Gemini, ChatGPT, Microsoft Copilot, Po. And moreover, I wanted to understand any mga use cases. Okay, so for developers, they could even use for code generation, right? Uh, marketing content as well, a uh, little bit of typo here, but personal. My one example use case, I've made, I've used Microsoft Coil Pilot for personal, right? Because I asked where to park, okay? So uh, I'm able to understand in my organization what's practically being or where AI is being practically used. What's the use cases? Is it mainly for business, for personal intents? Then you get more deeper understanding and on how it's being leveraged, okay? Also understand the, the risk level of these different AI tools. Uh, I expect more and more AI tools will be out there, but more importantly, you need to understand the risk level of those, okay? And, and detect the prompts containing sensitive data, okay? So this is an example. Okay, I can use, maybe I think, can you generate me a report, okay, uh, about related to our total revenue this Q1 2024. 
Of course, siyempre, gamit ko na, ina-harness ko ng AI. Sige, go chat ko ngayon kay, kay chat GPT. So, uh, I'm not really sure, but uh, gusto ko mapadali lang ang trabaho ko. So, I input this. But I am keying in company-related information. This is speaking about the total revenue. Then, there should be governance that I should be blocking that as well. Because... There will be no way. It would be uncontrollable for you no, to determine this. No? Because like me, I wanted, to, I wanted to make my job easier, my life easier. I use AI tools. But with this, I can block that. Okay? Okay, and moreover, to meet regulations, full visibility is the key as well. So I need to have an audit trail on all the activities including pade, for example, if I copy this data from Gmail, then paste it to G Gemini, okay, as well, no? All the timestamp, everything, okay? So, my full audit ka to meet your regulatory compliance as well. Okay? And where we are all speaking about AI, it's also important to note that the cybersecurity platform I am trusting my company data must be harnessing the power of AI as well. Today, Checkpoint is already leveraging uh, out of 90 security engines, 50 of them are already AI powered, uh, preventing 3 billion of uh, yearly attacks okay, and enforced across different enforcement forms. It's important as well that you have uh, coverage in different areas because Attack vectors may come in the network, cloud, and even on the user space. And for data to be trained or to be more intelligent, or AI to be more intelligent, intelligent, it needs it needs AI to be trained on. And that's this is practically what we are leveraging on. Okay, the billions of sites, thousands of indicator of compromise to provide superior protection. Okay for the organizations that we are protecting. Okay, uh, as a parting message, AI is now being used. In fact, 2023 is the year of AI. It will be continued to be used moving forward. Moving forward, your organization, your boss will also say you will need to regulate the usage of AI in your company. You need to have a platform to depend against what's coming. To know more about that, I'll be around until lunch later. Uh, really reach out to me. Again, thank you everyone and thanks for staying. Checkpoint introduces Quantum Force, a series of 10 AI-powered cloud-delivered security gateways for advanced threat prevention. The Quantum Force family supports everything from the most demanding data centers to large enterprise perimeters and small enterprises. In addition to doubling security performance, these gateways have flexible hardware modularity with a range of network interface connections and speeds to keep up with your network requirements and growth. Quantum Force has the latest powerful CPUs with high core counts to double the throughput of AI-powered threat prevention and deep packet inspection with the industry's highest block rates. Tremendous firewall acceleration is achieved using NVIDIA's latest ASIC-based technology. Customers experience unparalleled performance, including a 50% boost in TLS inspection based on NetSec Open standards. These appliances offer the most power efficient design in the market, meaning they consume less power per gigabit per second of throughput than any other vendor. Quantum Force appliances also integrate with Quantum Maestro, Checkpoint's hyperscalable, load balancing firewall cluster design. Scale from a small starter system all the way up to one terabit per second of threat prevention in a single unified platform. It also delivers a two times better price performance, making it easier on your budget. Your organization can work confidently knowing that Quantum Force is safeguarding your network and digital assets.